Do you ever get really bad gas? No, not that kind of gas. Gear acquisition syndrome. I know I do. And today we're gonna talk about how it can be a negative and sometimes it can be necessary. What's up guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam Marvin and I have been in the photography industry for 25 plus years. And while I love to be a creative, business is my passion and elevating the photography industry is my focus. Now I created the Seven Figure Photographer with the intention of showing and sharing my journey to seven figures, but also to help others who are on the same journey find their way. Let's get down to business. Today, I have terrible gas. Hopefully none of you smell it. I'm talking about gear acquisition syndrome. Now, any of you guys who know me know that I do have terrible gas talking about the gear acquisition syndrome. And I think that this is really an important topic to consider in our industry because everybody feels like if they get the next best thing or that new camera or that new lens or that new full frame camera, it's going to make everything better. And honestly, um, uh, you know, I've been there. I've been where you're at. I've been, honestly, I, I was that guy. I, I always thought the next best thing. But the one thing that I learned over time was that it has to make sense. Don't get me wrong. You have to have a camera to be a photographer. And there's certain things you have to have to be a photographer. But at what point does gear acquisition syndrome become less of a negative and more of a positive? Uh, I know for me, um, like I said, I've, I've always been a gear hoarder. I've always been like, I, I love new gear. I love new things. I oftentimes I buy things that I think I need and I have a reason for why I need it and then it ends up sitting or so I've been told and I never use it. In fact, the other day I needed a new dongle. Yes, I said that. That's the special word of the office in here. Everybody laughs. In fact, Mia right now is laughing hysterically <laughs> because I said the word dongle. The other day I needed a new dongle to make sure or to send ethernet to my computer. And I was like, I swear I have one of these. I kept asking about it. So finally, I just got online and I ordered one and had Apple deliver it to me to that same day, which is a whole nother problem. Like I have to have everything then, but I needed a dongle. And as soon as I ordered it, I asked Yin, my video guy about it. And sure enough, he's like, oh, this thing? And he pulled it out of his drawer and he, he was hiding the dongle in his drawer. That's, <laughs> That's gonna get cut. <laughs> Anyway, the point is, is that sometimes you just have to have the right gear to do the job. Now, like I said, there's a point in your business, there's a point in your life when gear acquisition syndrome becomes a necessity instead of a negative. So negative versus necessity. Now, here's the thing. One of the best things about being, well, for the sake of humility, say moderately successful, um, when you have the money, it's okay. I mean, why not? Let's spend some money, <laughs> right? Um, as you can see, we got some extra gear back here that we're uh, hoarding. And here's the thing. If you have the money to spend and that equipment will provide you more efficiency, then it's not so much of a gear hoarding or a gear buying problem if it can make you more efficient and save time, ultimately that's what we do in business. We get to a point where we go from not making enough money but having lots of time to making lots of money and not having enough time. How do you balance that? Well, the reality is, is that money buys back time. And so if you have enough money, you can effectively buy time by paying people to do stuff for you, buying programs that work more efficiently by purchasing equipment that helps you speed up the process. And so that's where gear acquisition syndrome goes from being a negative to being a necessity. You know, one of the nice things for me, and I, I get 
poked and prodded and teased for this a lot, but um, you know, it's not a matter of trying to show off that I make good money. It's a matter of um, what are the things that happen. I'll tell you a quick story. Um, anybody that's in the photography industry knows that pro photo gear is really expensive. Like it's stupid expensive. And I remember the first day um, that I decided I was going to buy a pro photo light. In fact, I decided I was going to buy two of them because for some reason I needed two. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wanted to buy them because they were the coolest. It wasn't that I wanted to buy them because I would be associated with being cool or being the guy that had the expensive equipment or that could afford the expensive equipment. What it came down to is it was fulfilling a need and it was fixing a problem. And the problem was, is that I oftentimes photograph sunsets and I was using Alien Bees, so I had the B800 and the Vagabond battery pack. Now those two are an incredible powerhouse. Honestly, I think they're great. Right now you can do it with Godox and you have the battery on it. When I bought my Pro Photos, Godox didn't even exist. But what happened was, I can't tell you how many times we made the mistake of getting to a location for sunset, time was of the essence, and all of a sudden, we didn't have the power cord that goes from the battery to the light. Guess what? It changes everything. So just having the ability to buy a light that had the battery built in and I could change batteries if I ran out of battery, that to me was worth the money, the I think at the time $4,000 that I spent to buy the two Pro Photo lights. I'm not gonna lie guys, I sat in the store for probably two and a half hours and it wasn't just because I was trying to figure out how to spend more money, it was because I was trying to convince myself this was really a necessity instead of just gear acquisition syndrome. Now, Pro Photo lights have changed the world for me. They're so incredible. Honestly, if you can muster up the money, go, bo go buy Pro Photo lights. It's just, it's just money. You'll make it back as long as, as long as you're not spending money that you need to spend on um, expenses or bills, whatever. If you have that money set aside or you're putting it into your profit account and you can afford to go in and buy those things or pre-purchased equip or pre-purchase account, then do it. If it makes your process faster, then it's no longer a negative thing. And you know, just. To give you an example, I mean, there's some things back here. Uh, you know, part of this was we were talking today coming out of the Apple store because uh, I just went and bought a new, the new M1 Mac Mini, and you know, they were laughing at me because they're they're just thinking, man, Sam just spends money like it's going out of style, buying stuff all the time. But it wasn't just that I was wanting to spend the money to have fun. It was that the equipment itself makes this process for me more efficient because when I try to do some of this stuff, it taxes the computer that I have. And so if I can make it more efficient and more efficient by the fact that I have a dedicated computer set up for my YouTube videos or live streaming, that makes more sense to me. And it saves me more time, it saves me more headache, but it ultimately buys time back. And that's, I think, one thing that I've talked about a lot of times is what is, what is your time worth to you? And can you buy back your time? If it just costs, you know, a couple of dollars to pay somebody else to do something for you, then does that make it worth your time? It, or how about just the stress? And this is a this is a prime example. Uh, another thing we were talking about today, but Mia is, you know, that was a big step for me to bring her on as a full time uh, employee that I was planning to to. Um, employ throughout the whole, even the slow time, the good times and the bad times, because that's a lot of money that I don't necessarily need to spend. But the money that it costs me buys back my sanity. It buys back my time. It allows me to put my attention and my focus on my zone of genius. And she gets to deal with the crappy stuff. That's what you got to think about when you're thinking, man, I need a new camera or a new computer and I got the cash oh, <laughs> to spend. Is it going to be worth it for you? Are you spending money just to spend money? Or is it something that is going to benefit and provide more efficiency for your business? Because ultimately, if you can be more efficient, you can make more of the green stuff. 
Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Please make sure to leave a comment below if you have a specific purchase or gear acquisition syndrome of your own that was either negative or necessary. We'd love to hear it.